Well, you, you've interpreted so many um, classics, so many standards across many genres. What do you think you do that, that brings out something new in that, those songs? I think probably uh, dynamics, you know, and uh, all that comes through that piano type thing, you know. You know, that's a duet song, and then the guy comes in. Orchestra. It's just coloration and things like that. There's some little licks and things that I do that I think are fun, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, what you would do on a, like a dobro sound or steel guitar. fast. That's what got me on the Great Ole Opry right there. I think, so. anyway, right, I think just... you know, you've given me some stuff to go and embarrass myself with. <laughs> I'll tell you for sure. Well, obviously, we're here. Another thing we're here to talk about is this amazing guitar that has yeah. your name on it. Yeah. What it, is that like? First off, just to know that somebody wants to make a guitar and put your name on. Well, it. it's it's pretty awesome. I mean, you know, and this is uh, this is one of More Music's uh, guitars uh, that's uh, that's for sale. And, and in fact, I can. I can show you there's no nothing different in my guitar. In fact, I've only had this one about a week here. And so if I just grab this guitar and uh, and I have not plugged it in, but one thing I've seen about good end guitars is they're very consistent. And one t one time I uh, I got a uh, a guitar in the uh, UPS and I said, okay, we're gonna have an unboxing. And the guy said, you, you gotta look at that guitar first. I said, nope, <laughs> you know, this is the way it is. It's either good or it's not. And, uh, and it was perfect. Yeah. And we're, they're all going, thank God, yeah. you know. But uh, now the reason it was squealing a little bit because there's actually a mic inside, but let me explain what this is. My, when Robert Goodhand asked me 
to come up with a, a different spin on, on his multi act guitars, which is a thin body guitar that sounds like an acoustic right. guitar. I said, well, I, you know, the first thing I would do is put an LR Baggs pickup mm -hmm. in it. Because Lloyd Baggs, uh, the first time I ever saw uh, the Lloyd Baggs name was on a Godin guitar. And so this is an LB6 pickup. <laughs> So it has a great sound. Yeah. But then he took it another step further and he put a microphone in it, and you know, in the if you. Yeah. You know, it's almost like an arch top. It sounds great yeah. like that. But what I do is just uh, turn the volume up and then I do this. And when I. Just hear it start coming in. I like just the air, yeah. you know, uh, in the so. If you did something slow, you can hear. And I didn't even tune this guitar. It's a little bit out of tune, but, but here's the other thing and the final thing. There is a pedal that Lloyd Baggs came out with called the Session DI. Mm -hmm. Now, last week I mixed and mastered my new upcoming record, and it sounded so good mixed, but like, could it sound any better when you put it in the mastering suite? Oh, yes, it does. And it's, how does it do that? But it's just simple, uh, a, a couple of things, really, basically. Multiband uh, compression. And not like a compressor, like a, you put an electric guitar through, like a telly or whatever. But it's multiband compression, which tightens up the bottom end, makes it all just sound really full. And then harmonic distortion, which is what a tube does. And it, it adds that, uh, it just rounds off the edges and just makes it sound really warm. Now here it is without it. <laughs> Can I ask you while I'm playing if you'll take this and push it down like that? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Now let me play it a hold of just a second. Now do. Now put it back up. sounds like a finished yeah, record. It, really does. it sounds like a guitar. If I was recording that, yeah. that's what it would sound like. And uh, so we recorded some songs on the, I mean, I have a $20,000, $25,000 Olsen guitar and recorded several things on it because most of that record had already been done before this guitar came out. And uh, there were a couple other songs I wanted to do. So we, we uh, took this guitar in the studio and both of us were blown away. And uh, David Huff, I don't know if you remember Dave, David and the Giants, but David sure. is a producer, owns the studio. And he said that this is a, the, the most incredible surprise of this whole project was this guitar.